Okay, we're here at the uh, Rainbow Center in East Oakland, and with it, it just uh, they just had a what is a annual thank Thanksgiving dinner and food giveaway. Okay, we're here with Sister Alice Mohammed, and we just want to do a little interview with you to, you know, because since you've been doing this in the community, uh, I just want you to share uh, your experience. Uh, you know, as far as what what do you do here? Just give do? us a little 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 detail or a little history about this uh, your work in this community in the Rainbow Center. Well, I started this program about 12 years ago, and I started it out of the back of my car. What happened was I had gotten hurt at work at Mervyn's. I've been with Mervyn's for 20 some years. And so when I got hurt, I said, well, you know, God, I've been working for the white man all my life. Now it's time for me to do something for you. And so I went with my husband one day. His church was in connection with another church to pick up some bread. And so they were ministers. And I went with him about three weeks. And so I didn't like the way they was giving the food to the peoples. They were keeping the good stuff and giving the other stuff to the peoples that I didn't think that was right. So I said, you know what? I can do this. And so I knew I can, because who I believe and trust in. And I told my husband, he called me, he said, uh, I got a truck to load of bread. I said, okay, what we gonna do with it? He said, oh no. I said, okay, let's take it to the parks. So we took the bread to the parks. And people loved it. Because bread is very expensive. And now it's about six dollars a loaf. It depends on how what you what brand you get. And so from that day forward, here it is, history has made its mark. Now what you what year was that that you said this happened? What what year did you? Uh, two thousand and five. Two thousand five. So since then. Yes, and we've been going strong ever since. Now I know you uh you have a, a load of bread out here and other things. Now I know you have other people helping uh, on a regular basis. Uh, do you uh, distribute your stuff in d different areas or is it just mainly yes. here? Yes, uh, we have like Safeway. Uh, Sometimes Trader Joe's, Grocery Outlet, and we also have just other mom and pop stores that helps out. Okay. Yeah. So mainly, but all Safeway. the... Safeway. Now, Safeway is our main contributor. Now, you have a regular program here, right? That yes, you give I away, do. Uh, what, what do you do? Uh, you we give... coordinate all the food uh, Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, out of all of putting all the food together from all the stores, milk, cheese, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff come from the food bank. And on Saturday, Friday, we put all these bags together for the community. It doesn't matter, we all a community, whether you're in Hayward, New York, or whatever, we all a community. And people's come from everywhere to share in the food giveaway. And so this is every what every day? Every huh? Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. So we you give have out a... between three, two and three hundred bags of grocery. Besides your vegetables, your fruit, oh. and sweets and all that. But today was a big event. Yeah. Uh, I think we did close to like four hundred people. Wow. We did a Thanksgiving feast. Yeah. And I've been doing it for about yeah. five years. That's great. And where we bring people in in the community that stand in the line all year long, we bring them together and sit them down to eat a nice festival feast. Because every day is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now, uh, is mainly the Thanksgiving the only time you have a big feast you like this? No, I have another feast the 4th of July. 4th of July. And so you're going to have something similar to this? Yes. Yes. Wow, okay. Yes. Well, you're doing great work in this community, and I think it should be recognized that you're doing this. Uh, now, I know you have uh, help that you, uh, other people that's helping you. Oh, yes. Okay. So, you, I, I noticed that you have, uh, you know, a lot of people working with you. Uh, so, t just tell me, uh, has this been a real hard task for you or what? <laughs> you know, everything in life is a test. Uh -huh but it's your faith that gets you through. Yeah. And so that's what has gotten my husband out through, is our faith and trusting and helping one another. And so that's what has kept my back strong. 
and helping each other to do what we must do. Okay, well, we have we have Alice's husband just joined us here, and uh, we just want to get an interview with both of you doing a great job in this community. So uh, we here at the, also I just want to remind you, we are here at the Rainbow Center in East Oakland. And this is located where? 5800 International, Oakland, California, 94621. Okay, so you want to introduce yourself and just share some of your experience of how you've uh, been working together with you and your wife? Well, my name is Lonnie Scoggins, Jr. I'm the husband of Sister Alice here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been with this for a little over 15 years, I believe, if I got it correct. Uh, we started out in, in a pickup truck, uh, just picking up stuff that they were at the bakery and going to uh, different projects and passing it out, giving it away. And uh, from there we went to uh, all the parks in Oakland, starting from the uh, Farmy Park, worked that way all the parks in Oakland, worked all the way up to uh, Sobrani Park. And then, uh, and that started getting cost effective, so then we, we said we need to pray for a, a building, a place to, place to work, be at. So we, we uh, got permission to serve here one Saturday, and the uh, the uh, uh, the director here was so impressed and, and at what we did. He said, "Can you come next week?" And then it was, "Can you come next week?" He said, "Y'all just need to just keep coming here," and that's that's where we are right now. He gave us a whole room to store our our, our product for the week, and then to give out on Saturday. And in so doing, we have changed, my wife and I and, and uh, our volunteers, we have many volunteers, uh, we've changed this community. We have a children's program here, and uh, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of stuff that's, that's, that's going on that we kind of induce or uh, good things start happening and things start developing around it. Uh, our neighborhood, uh, the crime rate around here has diminished because the atmosphere has changed from violence and being rough talk and all that because we have a lot of children and women they have to change their language so in changing the language it changes their character so we don't have as much turbulence or violence around here as was before we started being here well, I noticed the day that you this event today you had a diverse uh, a number of people, that diverse community that came here, you know, you just didn't nice, yeah. serve Afro-Americans, you had, i seen Asians and uh, Latinos, so is that, yeah. is on a regular basis that you well, have? Well, when we first came, no, it was basically blacks okay. that came, but since we've been in this neighborhood so long, mm -hmm. they know that we don't discriminate. Yeah. We're here to help, so you serve. and that's what we do. It's not about race, it's about people. Yeah. And that's the difference. So, so you, we have more Chinese than other than we have our own country. Mm. And you saw that today. Yeah. So you serving humanity. I'm that's serving right. humanity. That's right. Yes. That's right. Okay. That's what it's all about. And this is uh, one of the positive things that's happening in Oakland. You, you don't never hear too much. You always hear about violence, but I think you know you guys have to be commended for what you're doing. Uh, now you you mentioned that you you started doing uh, this like in parks and stuff at yeah. one time? Yeah. Okay. The farmer, we first started at Aurora Park. Uh -huh. Then we went to the farmery park. We had to get a permit in order to go to the parks in order to give our food. But the food wasn't cooked then. And the people that helped us in our time of need was Sister Rosalind Abdullah, mm -hmm. Sister Ruby, oh. Sister Hosh Janika, Sister Naima Akba, these were the, my backbones also. And Sister Rosetta, you know, and if I missed it one, I'm sorry. But basically we had, and my granddaughter, which is in college now, and Daytrice, and, uh, and my daughter, which has passed on, Sakari Skagi. And so they were the backbone that really, really helped us. Well, and they are still there. Yeah, well, I was just going to say that. I thought that I've seen some them. of them. It's yes. still here. If we need them, they're there. Well, I, I, from what I understand, you also had some people that worked with you that uh, I think 
somebody told me that you help get job or you oh had, yes you, we coordinate with other a jobs. lot of you know mm -hmm. communities and people that are hiring they hear about us and stuff like that mm -hmm. like I used to give bread off of Bimbo Bakery and Sally and and they always have the cards you know they're hiring truck drivers or whatever mm -hmm. so I pass it on yeah you know to the next person and so but God is good all the that's time. great well, you know, see, that's beautiful that even by them volunteering to help here, they, yes. they, that gives them opportunity sometimes to get other jobs. Yes, that's right. It does. That, that, yes, where they it get does. paid. Yes, uh, it does. Now, what what was the uh, motivation that kept you guys going? I mean, what what gave you that drive to want to keep doing this? I mean, is it was it something in you that, or you just? Um, well, really, we were in the same boat the people was out there in. My husband had got hurt at work, retired. I had got hurt at work, so we were all in need. Yeah. So we knew what it was to be in need. So we all came up together through the ranks. Wow. And we were not by ourselves. Right. And so now we all just got our head above the water. But we're still swimming, we're not drowning. Great. Well, I, I, I just want to say it was beautiful to see all the people out here. We go, Hopefully we can show this, you know, to for people can see uh, what you, the work you, that you're doing here in East Oakland, and yes. uh, want to keep want to congratulate you for the uh, successful event today, and hopefully we keep keep this going. All right, thank you so much God for bless. allowing thank me to interview you. So much. All right, thank you. The way to the good life is not paved with gold. Live knowledge and meaning is the way I'm told. Make sure that our loved ones know what we're all about. Prepare for the future that's excess in which there is no doubt. Hold fast to the guidance of our leadership and work hard for the good of mankind. The way for our people to become redeemed. Love of Mother Nature and the gifts she brings. Engage with our minds to all of the natural world Respect for our time along with our women and girls Produce from the heart and the soul of a believer in the Lord of the worlds Be not faint-hearted and weary, crying Crying for peace when you should be be in the lead, making the world complete, making the world complete, making the world. The way to the good life is not paved with ease. Unite in the rituals and their families Eliminate all of the divisions that don't help us to make our best decisions Remember the work and the sacrifices those before us made in the past Be not faint-hearted and weary crying Crying for peace when you should be Be in the lead Making the world complete Making the world complete Making the world The way to the good life Is not paved with gold
good life is not paid with gold. I want to step ahead of ordinary time And live my life the way that the control is mine Today we live in the future of our past Tomorrow's today will be yesterday at last Look to the future for the present way to be My destiny is that my soul's completely free have a desire for life and bring all things to bear Have faith and keep the light and soon you will be there Faith is the substance of the hoped for kind of things And it's the evidence of those things still unseen We have a goal that the Creator does command We have to have the faith to build upon the land So. Pray like you don't have to work Work like you don't have to pray This is the way we have to live Each and every day Pray like you don't have to work Work like you don't have to pray This is the way we have to live Each and every day I pray for help from the source That is pure divine And work is at the end Results are purely mine each day I live to make my dreams reality A dream that's real reflects the faith behind the deeds A man can have but what he strives for with his best And as he strives he'll have his faith put to the test Did you think you would have a life that's filled with ease? Without faith and work you'll keep crawling on your knees Hear what I say because these words I sing are true I have to work We have to pray and work to build a world that's new So pray that you don't have to work Work like you don't have to pray This is the way we have to live each and every day Pray that you don't have to work Work like you don't have to pray This is the way we have to live each and every day
Squeeze it out on that. Since I've only one life and it's for my men I'm gonna live my life as me The best that I can be, I wanna be free I can live the life they gave to me Put myself up on the shelf Try and live like someone else Just ignore the hurt that's felt I won't live a lie, that's not me No not me Cast as an extra in someone's play What is my purpose on this earth? Solidify and dignify my self-worth I can play the role they write for me I have my priorities Establish truth and dignity Leave alone what's hurting me Build a world that's right for you and for me oh, 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 right for you and for me Build a world A social bird Broken off from our natural social progression To build a better world must be our obsession With a higher vision and purpose on earth Be a complement to nation's honor With a universal frame for true liberty Build a better world for you and for me Oh yeah Looking at life down the road ahead I'm gonna be a better me A compliment to my own humanity I'll create my own reality Yeah Start with what's inside of me Start in love